Sadly, we have learned a school cafeteria worker is among the latest victims of COVID-19 here in Indiana. She worked in Hamilton County, and that's where Dustin Grove joins us from tonight with more on her story. At Thorpe Creek Elementary in Fishers Wednesday, students and staff learned this ugly pandemic has claimed one of their own. Condolences poured out online from those who knew Pam Podney, her school family offering prayers, and those close to her own family. One of them writing, until you lose someone close to you from COVID-19, you'll never fully understand the detriment of this disgusting and terrible disease. Pam Podney was the head cook in the cafeteria here at Thorpe Creek Elementary School and had been here for eight years. A district spokesperson told me she started the year here but had been out sick for weeks. Podney died the same day Hamilton Southeastern Schools voted to return elementary students to virtual learning through next month. The district says it couldn't find enough substitutes to fill in for classroom teachers who are sick or in quarantine. Podney is one of at least 655 Hoosiers who've died with COVID this month. Nearly 2,000 staff members in schools across Indiana have been diagnosed so far this fall. As cases surge and hospital ICUs once again fill up across the country, doctors and nurses say it's important to remember these are more than just numbers. They're people with families now grieving just before the holidays. I've seen more death and more sickness in the last two weeks than I've ever seen in my entire 10 years of being in healthcare. The state health department here in Indiana says less than five students have tested positive for the virus at Thorpe Creek Elementary School in Hamilton Southeast District so far this year. And it's the same number for staff members too. In fact, fewer than five cases have been reported there.